On July 11, 2018, as Brody Smith prepared for his prom night, he found himself walking alone since he didn't have a date. However, an unexpected encounter with an SUV carrying five girls left him astonished. Brody Smith has been coping with autism for several years. Diagnosed with atypical autism at the age of eight, he faces challenges in communication and socialization. Autism, a developmental disorder, can affect social skills and communication while leading to repetitive behaviors in individuals. Despite his condition, Smith's autism is not immediately apparent to others, leading his mother, Diane Smith, to describe it as a hidden disability. Growing up, Smith endured difficulties due to his condition, particularly in social settings. He was often the target of teasing and struggled to make friends. His mother recalled how he would return home from school upset, expressing feelings of loneliness and rejection. However, in recent years, Smith's situation had improved. He attends St. Peter's Catholic School in Solihull, West Midlands, United Kingdom, which is a religion-led institution with over 1,250 students and 150 staff members. Smith had recently completed his exams and decided to attend the school's prom, held at Hogarth's Hotel near his school. Smith donned a three-piece suit for the occasion, and his mother, while proud of his achievements, couldn't help but feel a tinge of sadness seeing him attend the prom without a group of friends. She described the emotional moment when he left for the event, wishing he could have had friends to accompany him. Smith opted for a taxi to take him to the venue and was dropped off at the hotel's entrance. Hogarth's Hotel, a four-star establishment in Solihull, is a popular choice for various events, including school dances. As Smith made his way from the hotel gates toward the entrance, a black Range Rover pulled up beside him. Inside were five fellow students from St. Peter's, all girls, who extended an invitation to join them. Lottie Byrne, one of the girls in the car, shared their excitement at the unexpected encounter with Brody Smith. They recognized him as he walked alone up the hotel driveway and quickly decided to offer him a ride. Smith was initially overwhelmed by the gesture but accepted their invitation. While Smith didn't consider himself close friends with the group of girls, he had taken sociology classes with two of them. Nevertheless, he felt touched that they had invited him to join them. Reflecting on the experience, he found it amusing and genuinely appreciated their kindness. Upon arriving at the prom venue, Brody Smith and the five girls from the Range Rover disembarked to a warm reception. Fellow students cheered for Brody, celebrating his presence at the event. They gathered around him on a red carpet, posing for photographs in a heartwarming display of camaraderie. Following the prom, Lottie Byrne's mother, Nikki, received an email from Sean Stowe, the head of the girls' year at school. The email commended the young women for their kind and mature gesture of inviting a student who wasn't part of their immediate circle of friends to join them and take photos together. It highlighted the character of the girls as genuinely compassionate individuals. Mrs. Byrne, filled with pride, shared the email on Facebook, and it eventually reached Brody Smith's mother, Ms. Smith. She was deeply touched by the girls' actions and the email's contents, bringing her to tears. Ms. Smith expressed her gratitude, acknowledging the lasting impact of the girl's kindness on her son. Brody, despite not knowing the girls very well, happily accepted their invitation to join them. The photograph captured the immense joy he felt during that moment, as evidenced by his beaming smile. The heartwarming story gained widespread attention, going viral and garnering media coverage worldwide. Brody and his fellow students even appeared on the television show This Morning. Much like Brody's mother, many people were moved by the compassionate actions of these teenagers. Commenters on the Daily Mail story and social media expressed their admiration for the girls' kindness and praised their beautiful personalities. Ms. Smith emphasized that Brody had overcome challenges and worked hard academically, taking 15 GCSEs and achieving strong predictions. He aspired to pursue A-levels and attend university, making the prom experience the perfect capstone to his achievements. The positive impact of the girl's gesture also boosted his confidence, further enhancing his journey.